I'm Meena Raja. I am born and brought up in Mumbai. And I moved to Canada, I would say, 20, 22 years ago. It's been a while. When I was a little kid, I would say when I was five or six, my mother put me for a Bhardhanatyam class. And I, so, um, back then I didn't know what that was because then we don't have social media or much in TV to know any dance form or kind of any art form, right? So I started doing it, but because the teacher was a fraud, she ran away with all our money. After that, her mom was very upset and she said, you know, I want to dance anymore. I said, okay. And I was only five, six, so I said, okay, fine, because not a big deal that, okay, she's saying, no, okay, no, no problem. I'll do some art, other art for her. So I always tried different kinds of art for her, but somehow as I was growing, when it was nine, 10, those days, the Ganesh Chaturthi, right? So every community would perform dance and this and that. I was very well aware that my mom said, no, you cannot dance. But kind of, I think I had a little interest in dance for me. Like, dude, what do I do? Like, how do I explore this? So I would watch Bollywood movies. I would go teach little kids like your age, like five, six, four, where you don't have to teach a big choreography. Simple step would be fine. I would learn some dance, movies, some steps from there, and I would go and teach. That would give me immense joy. Never had an opportunity to learn or go on stage because I always knew my mom said, no, you cannot go dance. And then life moved on. You have responsibilities, you have studies and college, and then here and there in Canada. After this few years, I thought, okay, I think I have some time in my life. I'm going to work, taking care of the kid. I'm doing everything, but I'm missing something. I'm missing, I'm like, I'm maybe missing my art. But what kind of art I want to get into? So, I said, okay, should I try dancing? Now I'm old enough. I don't think so my mom would say, hey, no more dancing. So I said, okay, let me just join as a Bollywood workout, right? And we try that. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? So I started just two classes and slowly I thought, hey, this is fun. Like, this is what I always wanted to do, but due to some restrictions, I never got to do it. Now I can do it. So that's how my dance journey slowly started. That's it. I never looked back. I never stopped dance. It's been 12 years, I guess. Yeah, 12 to 13 years. Or what, 14 years? I don't even remember. So I kept dancing, I started learning, I started learning techniques. It was not just not just Bollywood workouts. If you really want to dance, if you really want to pursue dancing, there should be a discipline, there should be a commitment, there should be a willing to learn, grow, right? You should learn the technique, you should learn the basic from your instructors and then you work on it, right? There will be times where you don't want to go to the class, you're tired, you have, if you're a kid, you have schools, you have homework, you have so much pressure. In today's days, there's so much going on in your lives, right? You might not be mentally prepared to go to class, but if you think you love dancing, you should just go to class. Just sit there if you're not ready. Just sit there and watch others. Sit in the class for one hour and watch your instructors, right? You learn from that too. Sometimes even watching others 
also you learn learn from your friend okay learn from anyone anyone who is dancing from the heart shifts at learning okay rejection i feel rejection is never a bad thing rejection is i would say it's a growth you're testing yourself right okay i got rejection why why did i get rejection hmm maybe i should learn more maybe i should learn more technique or maybe i should improve myself in this there's a lacking in those parts where that's why you got rejection right so you start learning then you learn it in a correct way take that rejection as a pride yeah okay that's fine absolutely you feel sad for a while but don't go into so much deep that you can never come out of it right take it in a good way in a positive way that rejection is good for you i think everyone should be rejected once or twice which teaches you which okay and i need to push myself more i think i need to work on my technique more or the way i'm performing more this has to improve this plays a very pivotal role in your dancing right when you're on stage you might not be very good dancer you might not be a great dancer you might not be very awesome in your technique but this plays an important role you might be great in technique but you're just dancing without any facial expression people doesn't want to watch you because you are not enjoying you know what i'm saying you're not enjoying you have to enjoy i think these things i have learned in my dance journey i was very nervous when i started dancing like sometimes take me in a negative way oh my god i started so late in my life when i was i'm dancing with the kids who are 70 80 years old how am i going to keep up with this how am i going to keep up with the energy but slowly start learning if you have a passion you have a love for it keep pushing yourself and you keep going you learn every day the day the learning should never end the day you think the learning is done you'll stop growing yeah it has changed my life it has taught me discipline commitment to whatever i do even dance or other responsibilities i have have taught me how committed i should be in whatever little things i do right keep going and in this is my love letter to dance never stop anything that you like love to do keep pushing yourself responsibilities all me street there but just to step out of your responsibility to be in a happy zone for even an hour makes a huge difference so just love the art <laughs>